Right now, two days after the body of a 22-year-old woman was found on a Janesville bike path, police have a man in custody. We'll have the latest from investigators. Also, a new report looks back at the collapse of a pier near the Union Terrace last summer. What the UW is saying about that incident. And we're live from a big event going on this weekend at Aligned Energy Center. The Midwest Horse Fair and Braden Ross will join us live shortly. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. A live look this afternoon at the Beltline during rush hour. A sunny but breezy end to the work week, and it looks like that might change. Yeah, it's going to be a little chilly this weekend for southern Wisconsin as a freeze warning is actually in effect until tomorrow morning. For more on your weekend forecast, let's get a look at it with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex? Good evening, Eric and Susan. Yes, we do have freeze warnings in effect for a good portion of southern Wisconsin. Would not be shocked to see these freeze warnings expanded across other portions of the area. This is that time of the year as we go right up into the middle of May and some years where you have to bring in the plants, Take the plants out, bring in the plants, cover the plants. Tonight's going to be one of those nights tonight as we'll be seeing those temperatures dipping down to 31 in Lone Rock. Again, the Wisconsin River Valley has a tendency to get a little bit colder than the surrounding areas. Camp Douglas, you have a tendency also all those open areas to be on the cooler side. You'll get down to about 30. 31 here in Madison and maybe change so you'll be lucky to hang on just above freezing at 33 degrees. So these are the temperatures where you don't want to take that chance with those tender plants out there. We've got 49 right now, Madison 50 in Lone Rock. These are the temperatures you'd see at the end of March, not the end of April. 52 in Middleton. We've got a 50 in McFarland. 50 our friends up to the north towards Wanakee. Current conditions again here in Madison, 49 degrees, but with a strong west wind, you can actually see the sky cam here moving about a bit. We've got gusty winds out there. It's those gusty winds that may actually help to keep some of that frost at bay. I'll explain a little bit more later and a heads up on our next set of alert day conditions. All right, Alex, thank you. We are continuing our coverage out of Janesville where a man is in custody in connection to a homicide investigation. Uh, in a 22 year old woman was found dead in Janesville Wednesday. Our Maddie Heimsch is at the Janesville Police Department tonight with the very latest details. That suspect is 23-year-old Logan Barclay, who police say was previously in a domestic relationship with the victim. Police executed a search warrant of Barclay's residence on Thursday in which they found, quote, evidentiary items. Barclay now faces a charge of first-degree intentional homicide. Chief of Police Chad Pearson said Barclay and the victim have a child together. Police initially received the call on Wednesday from a citizen walking along Peace Trail. The citizen called to report a body in the woods. The Rock County Medical Examiner later pronounced the victim deceased at the scene due to her injuries. There was no personal identifying information present at the scene uh, to assist officers initially in identifying the deceased female victim. The scene was located along Peace Trail near South Afton Road and West Rockport Park Drive. Janesville police are not yet naming the 22 year old victim as the investigation is still ongoing. Reporting in Janesville, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. A new tonight at 5, a 19-year-old man is in jail after police say he fired gunshots outside an apartment in Fitchburg this week. Officers were called to an apartment complex in the 6200 block of Limestone Lane. This was just after 5 on Monday morning, and after speaking with witnesses, officers were able to identify the 19-year-old as a suspect. On Tuesday, Fitchburg police found the man in his vehicle and attempted a traffic stop, but the man refused to pull over. After a chase, officers eventually stopped him all the way down in Iowa County. And police searched the vehicle and say they found a gun and marijuana. He's currently being held in the Dane County Jail. In Oregon, a child was injured this morning after being hit by a car while trying to board a school bus. The incident happened at 730 on County Road MM between Oregon and Brooklyn. The school bus stopped with its yellow and red lights activated when a vehicle failed to stop and hit the child as they crossed the highway to board the bus. Luckily, the child only sustained minor injuries. That's according to the Dane County Sheriff's Office. Well, UW Madison releases an update today on the 2023 peer collapse, concluding that student behavior was at the root of the collapse. And the incident summary reported found the peer was put under more stress than it was designed for. Numerous warnings had been given to the students at the time, but they persisted. The report concluded that all involved staffing should take more care of stat to staff lifeguards and also safety personnel 
There were no lifeguards on duty at the time. Around 20 people did sustain some injuries. Turning to a story out of Waukesha County, this weekend, 48 hours will be featuring the Waukesha County eye drop murder case. Earlier this month, Jesse Kraszewski was convicted of life in prison for killing Lynn Hernan by putting eye drop solution into her water. This episode of 48 Hours will air tomorrow night starting at 9 p.m. right here on WISC TV. The Biden administration today announced new regulations regulations under Title IX. Now to break it all down as for what it means going forward and how Wisconsin is responding here, we turn to political reporter Will Keneally who joins us with those details. Will? Well, the new rules roll back some changes made under the Trump administration, adding protections for LGBTQ plus students. Now the new rules under Title IX explicitly, explicitly forbid discrimination for sexual orientation and gender identity, as well as pregnancy. Now the new rules take effect in August. The Biden administration stopped short, though, of barring schools from creating policies that would ban transgender athletes from women's sports. Now, the Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, a conservative group here that works on similar issues, said in a statement that today is a troubling setback in our nation's commitment to protect rights and dignity of all students, especially women and girls. Now, the group has filed Title IX complaints most recently against the Sun Prairie School District. All right, Will, thank you. Now, Monday, Vice President Kamala Harris will be making a return to Wisconsin as she'll visit La Crosse. Vice President Harris will be at an event focused on abortion rights and then will also hold an event about the economy and health care. This will be the Vice President's third trip to Wisconsin just this year and the seventh since being sworn in as Vice President. She was in Madison last month and in Waukesha in January. Today, seven residents of the Dane County Jail participated in the inaugural Financial Literacy Program. The six-week program offers financial literacy education to those who are incarcerated. It's designed to provide information on financial basics like budgeting, banking services, emergency savings, and establishing credit. The program was launched in partnership with Summit Credit Union and the Black Men Coalition of Dane County. Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett is highlighting the need for criminal justice reform within Dane County. We want to make sure that everything we do with every resident and every program and every social worker and re-entry coordinator that you see standing by me is that we send our residents back into the community built up and better and not bitter and broken. After completing the program, each resident received a certificate and a check for $240 to begin putting their knowledge to work. The funds are provided through a Black Men Coalition of Dane County grant. Well, this is the weekend horse enthusiasts have been waiting for. The Midwest Horse Fair kicks off at the Alliant Energy Center today. That's right. Our Braden Ross is there to show us what you can expect if you're among the nearly 50,000 people in attendance this weekend. Braden? Yeah, hi guys. We are here right in the middle of the Alliant Energy Center where the Liberty Run is happening. You can hear the music start right behind me. This is when they let the horses just run around. Look at this little guy go. <laughs> so they let these horses off the reins. They get a run, free run of the arena here and everyone cheers for them and gets them going and everything. We just saw one go right before, but let me tell you a little bit about the Midwest Horse Fair while you get to watch this guy run around. This is the country's largest three-day horse fair, largest in the country. It brings more than $11 million into here, here into Madison when it comes here. It's been here since 1979. There's more than 500 vendor booths here, all things equine they have. They have saddles, hats, helmets, boots, blankets, everything you could ever want. This is, again, the Liberty Run, and this is one of the fan favorite events that happens here in the Coliseum, but there are plenty more that happen throughout the day here that'll happen uh, that have been happening today tomorrow Sunday as well so um, we'll have much more coverage on this this weekend and tonight we're about to go over here at six to go talk to a blacksmith that's another thing that's happening here at the horse fair so we'll have some coverage on that as well but for now reporting live at the Lion Energy Center Braden Ross for News 3 Now. Why does seeing that little thing run around just make you happy? <laughs> He's having a good time out there. All right Braden yeah there is a lot going on there. Braden thank you. Well in Stoughton today Art enthusiasts got a first-hand glimpse of the grand opening of a new art exhibition. It's called Wandering in Nature, and it features more than 20 artists, the majority of whom are from Wisconsin. And now they're all being judged against each other. It kicked off at 5 just a few minutes ago. It'll run until 8 tonight. And the show gives artists the creative ability to show nature's beauty through many different perspectives. 
we're becoming a cultural hub of just showing other people's artwork and it's so nice as a business owner to send a check to an artist because as an artist myself I know the struggle of selling artwork. Well, the gallery is opening from tonight through June 2nd at Overt Space Gallery and Gift. Tomorrow is National Record Store Day. Should I talk more about sure, it? Sure, go ahead. Well, Madison has plenty of shops. <laughs> a lot of record shops out there where you can pick up your favorite vinyl, whether it's vintage or fresh off the press. These independent businesses have been putting out hits for years, and this is a special day for people who make up the record stores, whether that be the customers or the recording artists who are all celebrating the uniqueness of music. Ties in to the whole music aesthetic and, and uh, you know, a lot of people enjoy going to shows and to be able to win a ticket, that's pretty, pretty fun and memorable. So, you know, it's, it's just the music scene all tied in. That is big, vinyl these days. And you can help support local record shops by buying some vinyl tomorrow for yourself or maybe a gift for someone else. And just ahead, getting you ready for your weekend, Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington returns with a complete look at your first worn forecast. And it will be a little different this week compared to last week at the Dane, County's far, uh, Dane County Farmer's Market. What you need to know before you head to the Capitol Square tomorrow. That's next at 5. Now, Wall Street, the Dow with a strong surge to close the week up 211 points, but the NASDAQ suffers another drop, 319 points. S&P 500 loses. Is 44, and we'll be right back. Sockbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain, your knee injury, that hip that bothers you, with your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality, we focus on results, and take time to listen so that your care is the best care for you. You, 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 for you. We're here for you. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to build your dream yard or get out on the water, we get you the right products at the right prices. Like $5 off new estate premium 4-in-1 lawn treatment. Rewards members save an extra 5 bucks. These KT welding helmets, $69.99. Rain-X wiper blades, 20% off for rewards members. And rewards members save $130 on this Pelican kayak with paddle and car top carrier. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Birkenstock ushers in a new collection with clean lines, easier than ever closures, and the most necessary footbed in your closet. Slide into Morgan's Shoes and shop our new Birkenstock arrivals. See what's fresh for spring and summer. Birkenstock platforms and wedges, cork-powered sneakers, or up your game with our iconic men's and women's sandals. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Morgan's Shoes, Hildale. Coming up, some Wisconsin residents are buzzing to hear the cicada invasion this summer with trillions of new visitors. What do entomologists hope to discover from this rare phenomenon? Then Braden Ross takes you to the Midwest Horse Fair going on this weekend. That's all ahead tonight on News 3 Now at 6. We warn you first. We have been talking for days about thunderstorm potential. That's next Tuesday, so make sure you're aware of that in storm system as it moves on in. First, with the information you need to be prepared and stay safe. First, warn weather. News 3 Now, live at 4. Well, the weekend is almost here, and we've got you covered on some big events happening in the area. First, we'll start with the second farmer's market of the season tomorrow. There was a huge turnout last week for the first one of the year, but temps were in the 70s, as mm -hmm. you'll recall. 
It won't be quite as warm tomorrow, but it will still be a great opportunity to get out and support our local farmers. Saturdays on the square run from 615 to 145. And if you're looking for another market, well, you're in luck. The Midwest Vintage Flea Market is back. It's Madison's, Madison's longest running independent vintage clothing store. It's going on Saturday and Sunday at the Garver Feed Mill from 11 to 4 both days. It is free to attend and this year will feature 45 of the seven state region's most established and up and coming vintage stores and independent vendors. And tomorrow in Dodgeville, amateur and professional chefs will put their grilled cheese skills to the test. It's held at Harris Park at the Lay Memorial Pavilion tomorrow. Doors open at 1045 in the morning. News Street Now's very own Brady Mallory, an expert in grilled cheese. <laughs> he will be a judge, and you can still buy tickets online at grilledcheesewisconsin.com. And on Sunday, make sure to grab your Euchre partner head to Verona. Wisconsin Brewing Company hosting a Euchre tournament. Beginners are welcome. You do need to register, though, ahead of time. Just email the address on your screen there. Check-in starts at 1230. Tournament starts at 1 in the afternoon, $20 per team. The weather this weekend, well... <laughs> Great for staying inside yep. playing Euchre. Let's get to Alex uh, for your first one forecast. Dane, our producer, I think knows me very well. That was a great lead in to weather because I bet the Harringtons, Grandma Harrington, will be playing Euchre <laughs> on Saturday and on Sunday. It's going to be cold, frosty conditions, though, especially in Wisconsin River Valley, those open areas over southwestern Wisconsin. Chilly Saturday for sure, a little warmer, though on your Sunday and your farmers market temperatures. I'll call that out here momentarily as well. Current temperatures 49 here in Madison, 51 in Middleton, 51 in Stoughton across the rest of southern Wisconsin. It's already down to 45 degrees in Camp Douglas, 50 in Lone Rock, 54 in Janesville. That's the warm spot in 49 right now in Platteville. Let's track the temperatures as we carry through the night tonight. Clear skies. That allows the heat to go out to space. I'll make a comment though on a weather ingredient. They may help some of that frost formation from forming. Just a moment here. 32 degrees by the time we get to four o'clock in the morning across much of southern Wisconsin. There's that temperature reaching its minimum meaning the coldest, 31 degrees in Madison, 32 in Lone Rock, 32 in the Dells, 30 to the north, even a couple upper 20s, not out of the question here. So we head towards 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Then as you head to the farmer's market, starting off cold, you might almost want to bring the winter jacket, hat, mittens, and gloves. Temperatures are going to stay only in the 40s to near 50 degrees. That's what we would see temperature-wise end of March, and here we are closing in on the end of April. And just as Eric and Susan were saying, 70s last weekend, to 40s is going to feel quite a bit different. Freeze warnings in effect for much of southern Wisconsin until 8 a.m. on your Saturday. These are our wind gusts that we've experienced over the course since midnight today. 47 mile per hour wind gust in Mineral Point, but that's over the rolling prairies of southwestern Wisconsin, so not very shocked to see that high of a wind gust. 33 in Madison, 36 in the Dells. I've been mentioning on social media, it's on Channel 3000's Facebook, what's that ingredient that might help keep that frost from being very widespread? It is the wind. We're still thinking we're going to get cold enough temperature-wise for some frost, but what the wind does is it really allows those air molecules to bombard into each other just like any friction just moving your fingers together you get a little bit of heat same principle here you get the air molecules to move into each other fast enough it gives off a little bit of heat and allows those temperatures hopefully to not get super cold hopefully we won't dive down into the upper 20s might be wondering when is the next chance of rain too alex we've had some plentiful rainfalls recently good chance of rain monday going on into your tuesday then eye up that late thursday bringing those rain chances close to scattered again Heads up on that coming up at the 6 o'clock show with the combination of temperatures warming up. Look at that closing in on 7 degrees next Saturday and Sunday. We may be looking at the potential for some fuel there for not just showers, but look at the thunderstorm activity potential here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We'll break down some of the alert day complexities coming up at our 6 o'clock show. All right, traffic looks like we do have an incident here that I'm going to see if I can get an opportunity to call that out here. Let's see what that incident's all about. A stalled vehicle. This would be exit 261 U.S. Highway 14 right on the, off of the Beltline. So that's part of the reason why we're seeing a slowdown there on the Beltline, folks, at this point in time. Friends in Janesville right now. Also an incident. We can see what that incident's all about here. Oh, down by Janesville heading down towards Beloit. There's another stalled vehicle on exit 183 that may cause some brief reductions in speed down towards Janesville. If you're heading uh, down towards the Beloit area, and up towards Wisconsin Dells, speed limit 70. People are going at 70. Nice night for driving tonight.
All right, Alex, thank you. Taylor Swift adding yet another album in the overnight hours, sending her fans again into a frenzy. All we know about this latest release is next at 5. Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Gruber Law Offices, we know how to win. Real cases, real results. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Get an 11% rebate on your kitchen upgrade with help from an arts. Clearview is flexible by design, so you can go from doors to drawers for storage that works at every stage. And the style is so easy to update, you can do it in a snap, meaning you don't have to remodel your space to make it work even better. Get these Stroma kitchen cabinets for $25.29 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Bet you didn't see that or that. But if you were an Atlas with front assist and could detect things in 0.02 seconds, you'd see every scene hidden in this commercial. Let's slow it down and see. Huh, it's a man walking his dogs and a woman walking her dinosaurs. 0.02 seconds. It's quicker than the blink of an eye. The Atlas with Front Assist. Hop in. It's a VW. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. There's no limit. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. We're often asked, is it really free to hire Gruber Law Offices? The answer is yes. The call, the consultation, free. You pay nothing until we win your case. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. It is a new era today. Taylor Swift dropped her album overnight, The Tortured Poets Department, and then surprise... She put out another 15 tracks. Taylor's dropping a lot of names on these songs and taking inspiration, as always, from her very public personal life. Jolie Kent has the heartbreak and the breakdown. Taylor Swift's tortured poets era has officially arrived. And Swifties are ready for it. And we got new lyrics. One less temptress, one less dagger to sharpen. I hate it here, so I will go to secret gardens in my mind. Swift proclaims herself the chairman as she takes listeners on a journey of sorrow and heartbreak with 16 new songs. Then just two hours after their release, she shocked fans everywhere by announcing 15 additional songs, a secret double album, that installment called Anthology. I'm pissed off you let me give you all that youth for free. So Long London is a deeply personal breakup ballad, which some believe could be about her relationship with English actor Joe Alwyn. So An El 
Alchemy, fans are wondering if Swift is singing about Travis Kelsey. And in the album's second track list, So High School makes another cryptic hint with another sports reference. I'm so depressed, I act like it's my birthday, every day. Swift also shares a look at her mental health and ability to power through. In the upbeat bop, I can do it with a broken heart. Yeah, she's definitely proven her poetry prowess in this new album. We see her advanced writing and themes that are scattered throughout all 31 songs. And I think this is a double album that is gonna be studied, not just in universities, but by educators across the world. How long have you been waiting for this album? Since the night of the Grammys, are you hitting? Same. Swift says she started writing the Tortured Poets Department immediately after the release of Midnight's. And like all of her album releases, she's having fun with her diehards like at this Spotify pop-up library in Los Angeles. Fans have been lining up for two hours to get a glimpse of this here at The Grove. She's still on the Eras tour. Are you hoping for a Tortured Poets Department tour? Um, I think that would be interesting. I don't know how she's ever going to like top the Eras tour. In a message to fans on her official Instagram, Swift makes it clear to Swifties. This chapter of her life is now closed and boarded up, adding there is nothing to avenge, no scores to settle, once wounds have healed. Fans say they hope to see Swift perform some of these new songs during the ongoing Eras tour. Jolene Kent, CBS News, Los Angeles. We'll get a final check of the forecast when we come back. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait till I get my bathtub. We agreed on a shower for a mom. But I thought... Uh -huh. Happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSEN's because our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life. And our baths have a no leak guarantee. With thousands of five star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding expectations for 35 years. Get 50% off professional installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. It's under. Over. Hey, happy spouse, happy house. Call 1-800-HANSONS, get it done. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. So we're a really busy family of six and moving into a new house, and Empire made it really easy. They brought samples to our house, quality products, and insulation on our shop. And we're really happy with everything. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to sonobello.com. On this Friday night, 
chaos outside court. A man set himself on fire just across from the courthouse where former President Donald Trump's criminal trial is taking place. What we're learning about his motivations and his condition tonight. That and more headlines on the CBS Evening News. And then coming up tonight at 6, we'll go inside a lab at UW-Madison where researchers are studying cicadas. What the upcoming emergence of Brood 13 means for you. Brood 13. <laughs> Look at all those bugs looking at you, Susan. They're coming. They're coming to your house. Let's go to Alex for a final check of the forecast. <laughs> sure. Well, they wouldn't want to come out tonight with temperatures dipping yeah. down into the below freezing in some cases. We have a freeze warning for much of the area. We're starting that season, so to speak, of April going right up into the middle of May where it's going to be on and off frost chances. So this is frost chance number one. We've got frost chance number two on your Saturday night. So lows tonight right around freezing, if not a little bit below freezing. So bring those tender plants in. Only 49 for high temperature on your Saturday. Sunday will do 58 degrees. The next chance of frost will be Thursday morning. And at 6, we'll be breaking down the possibility of alert day conditions next weekend. All right. All right. Alex, thank you. We're back in 30 minutes for News Now at 6. CBS Evening News coming up next.